everyone, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm starting off my card project today with some watercolor paper. I've added some, misted it, misted the watercolor paper with some water, and I'm just going to add some powder watercolor. This happens to be uh, very shimmery magicals from Lindy Stamp Gang. There's lots of different companies that have this same sort of shimmery powder. I'm also going to show you the Nouveau Shimmer Powder as well. But what I've done is I've added that water to the paper and then I just um, tap on the pigment and move it around. You can move it around just by holding the paper up and moving the paper or you can actually activate that pigment with your paintbrush. You can continue to add more water and more of the powder to deepen the pigment. And this is just a really fun way to make some colored cardstock and add that little bit of shimmer. So it does create just this most beautiful shimmery uh, paper when you're finished. Lots of fun to mess around with it and just kind of like come up with the color that you you really like and that you're going for. I wanted to create a bunch of these papers today. Um, I'm going to create a bunch for my stash. I'm not going to use all of these today, but I just wanted to show you how I go about using these powders. They're so much fun to use. This is the Nouveau Shimmer Powder. Really, really gorgeous. Um, I think that Honeybee does have these in the shop, but I will, if they do, I will make sure to link up to them in the description box below. But I am going to be using my Honeybee dies to die cut out the different pieces that I want to create my A2 size card today. So I just wanted to share this process of creating these different uh, colored papers uh, using the watercolor paper and these powdered watercolors. They're so much fun. You can create a lot of different sort of effects by just adding more powder wherever you can see those little dots of or the little mounds where the powder has been added here. You can kind of just hold the paper up and move the water around and in that way you can really determine how deep the little um, pools of color are on your paper. So here you can see I didn't swipe right through those little pools of pigment. I just kind of like made sure that they were completely activated with my brush and you can see those areas in that sort of center are a little bit darker. You can use your heat tool to help you dry the water or you can let these dry on their own. It doesn't really matter if you're using them for die cutting. The die cutting process is going to flatten the paper out and this should work really well for creating a nice pigmented uh, paper. So here you can see all the different colors that I use to create some different paper. I've got some really pretty kind of an orangey yellow there and then that one which is the one that I just showed you. This one's kind of like a magenta. There's some really pretty variations of pinks and reds and I just really love how these turned out and I had a lot of fun working with these different papers today for my projects. So I actually also used a little bit of greens because I wanted some greenery for my different florals that I'm going to be working with today here as well. So there you can see those, they're all ready to go. I'm just going to set those aside. This is the Lovely Layers um, greenery set and I'm going to be using these as the for the greenery. So this is the Ivy. I use one other die from that set as well. I did die cut some from the um, winter greenery set here as well. Um, but I didn't end up using these on the card. What I like to do is do a bunch of die cutting and then put the pieces with the die set so that when I use that die set for car other cards, I have some little pieces already die cut out. Now this is the Whimsical Spring Flowers set. This is a really sweet little die set. Really great for creating all kinds of different little projects where you want some small florals. So I'm going to add these onto, again, some of those colored pieces of cardstock now that I created. I'm going to run those through my die cutting machine and create some florals for my card front. I do like using my little spellbinders magnet to hold smaller dies like this when I'm working with them so that I don't misplace them. And you can just see how pretty that shimmery pigment is on these little die cuts. I think they're gorgeous. I love the variations of that, the light pink and the darker pink. Love those different greens. And I also wanted to die cut some from this orangey yellow color as well. Really love that color. I think it's super pretty. So I've got some of the centers of the florals in that orange. And then I also have one of the little flowers in orange as well. This is the 3D embossing folder from Honey Bee called Kaleidoscope. It's gorgeous. I did run uh, a two size piece of white cardstock 
back through that embossing folder through my die cutting machine. I trimmed that down by a quarter of an inch and that's going to be my card front. I adhered that to an A2 size top folding card base and now I'm going to add the embellishments onto the front of my card. So I'm going to start off with this really pretty greenery here again that's from the Lovely Layers greenery set as is this ivy piece as well. So I've got a couple of different colors of green going on here. I wasn't really um, too concerned about this being botanically accurate. I don't know that this little type of floral would grow on this type of greenery. I have no idea. It didn't really matter to me. I didn't really care. I just wanted a little bit of greenery in the background and then I'm going to add, the, add these sweet little blooms on top. And so <clears throat> I've added, I'm going to be adding the blooms with some foam adhesive. I took one of the little uh, greenery pieces from that whimsical spring flower set just to add behind this little floral. And you'll just see me add five blooms in total to the card front, just from top to bottom, just kind of bouncing down the card. And that's just going to leave a really nice logical spot for my sentiment in the lower center of the card front. Now I did use the Biddy Buzzword Be Mine die and stamp set to create my sentiment today. I die cut out the word you three times from black cardstock and I'm just going to adhere those three different layers together with my liquid adhesive. This is just going to create a really nice dimensional sentiment for the front of my card. So I'll glue those three layers together and then that will be already just a place in that area there where you can see that I'm setting that. I'm going to use my Honeybee Clear Embossing Powder to stamp out the word the phrase I love from the Biddy Buzzword Be Mine set. I'm stamping that onto some black cardstock with that clear embossing powder from Honeybee and then I'm going to add some white embossing powder over top and I'll just go ahead and melt that with my heat tool and that's going to create just a really nice white crisp sentiment on this black paper. I'll trim that out and set that aside for when I'm ready to add the sentiment to my project. Before I do that, I wanted to add some white splatter. So I put some white pigment. This is actually Dina Wakely White Gloss Spray. And I'm just using a fine brush here to splatter that onto my card that's actually gonna splatter over top of those blooms. It looks really pretty. Just like that addition of that texture that that adds. And I'm going to add the I love to the word you with some foam adhesive. And then I'll add the U die cut word with some liquid adhesive here. I'm just using my Honeybee liquid precision glue. I'm just using my Honeybee tweezers here to get this word in place. I'll just add a little bit of pressure onto that die cut piece there just so that I know that it, it, is, it is adhered. I'm going to use the Ocean Waves gem stickers. These are just some really pretty little pearls. I'm gonna add just a couple of little pink and a white one here and add those onto my card just for a little bit of extra detail. Love these little gems. They're always so much fun to add into the different little spaces on your projects. Just using my pen blade there to help me get those off of the packaging and place those in place. And I'm liking how that's looking. I think I am almost finished. Uh, I just am showing you here what gems I used and I'm showing you the really pretty shimmer and shine. Friends, I've linked up in the description box below to the products that I've used today from the Honeybee shop. Have an amazing day and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.